welcome back to another video i'm chrissy danielle if you do not know if you are new here make sure you leave a caterpillar down below in the comments so i know that you're new and if you've been here for a while you already know leave a butterfly and i also got butterfly merch down below i mean even if you are a caterpillar you can still get you some butterfly merch for today's video if you did not see on my community tab on here or if you do not follow me on social media or did not happen to see it on social media i decided that i wanted to do a video where i give advice and just tell off crazy stories that you guys tell me why because i want to do a podcast one day and i'm kind of trying to get a feel of like what i actually want to do like i don't know if i want to when i first thought of it i was like i should just like have people send me in crazy stories and then i read them off and just like give my reaction you know who knows i don't know so this is kind of like a thing that i want to start on my channel if this video does good and i like it when i edit it obviously like i i definitely want to do this more i have a lot of responses i got a lot of responses from you guys thank you guys so much i really was not expecting this many responses so we're not gonna do them all but we're gonna do a, a good amount of them i have 280 in total form will be down below so if you do want to enter your information send me something you want advice on or crazy stories then let me know down below it'll always be there so i do want to say before i start this video i'm not a therapist i'm not a psychiatrist i'm not a counselor the way i'm going to respond to these questions and stuff is like i'm talking to a friend like if someone were to ask me stuff like this this is what i would respond to if you were my friend i'm not claiming any type of doctor over here i just want to let you guys know that now so we are going to get started i had to eat real quick out a very long day literally I did a video this morning getting ready so that get ready with me should be up before this video and I made a bunch of TikToks I made videos I did a bunch of stuff we're just gonna get right into it so I have it pulled up on my computer over here so I am gonna be looking out to the side for a little bit and I can see myself so I'm probably gonna be looking at myself too okay let's start so the entry thing is where you enter your name you can put anonymous if you'd like you can leave a question story either or or both it doesn't really matter this first person is named Jasmine Hollifield. Shout out to you for doing this. So the question was, so I have some problems with my boyfriend. He is not treating me right. What should I do? And then they also put in the story because it kind of has to do with what I'm about to say. He's cheating on me and he's saying he loves me, but I don't know. If somebody's cheating on you and I'm not, you know, everybody think I'm a cheater with no proof, but like if someone cheats on me. If they come to me and tell me I cheated on you, which I have had happen before, it actually makes the situation much better and it builds trust, to be honest with you. I know that they cheated on you. You know, it's just not a good thing to cheat, but listen, hear me out. If they come to you and tell you I cheated on you, I felt this, this, and that, and blah, 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 then cool. I mean, it's not cool, but as long as they address it and show that they're making steps to be a better person and not do that again, I'm not saying stay with them, but it just builds a different type of trust for that person. But since you did not give me so much information, I'm pretty sure you found out that he was cheating on you. From my grown ass brain now, because like a couple years ago, I couldn't really tell you. If somebody cheats on me and I find out, I'm not staying with them. Sorry, it's just not. I don't care. I don't care. I don't tolerate bullshit. I don't tolerate lying because half the time when you address them they lie i don't have the energy in my life to deal with that so i would leave him i know that it's hard you clearly said he's saying he loves me but i don't know i would not put a doubt that he does not love you however cheating is just like i don't know especially if you found out it's just like you're super sneaky you're gonna think that they're gonna do it again so i'm not saying leave him today but definitely like get your mental right and see if you want to deal with somebody that he is treating you like if he is treating you like shit do you want to be treated like shit no Okay, if he's treating you like he does not appreciate you, <laughs> there's so many other fish in the sea, I'm just saying, like, no. That is my response to you though, love. I hope that you get the, the, the closure that you need. Okay, so the next person is Brooklyn. They said their question was advice on long distance and their story was, I know it's worth it, but sometimes I don't know how to deal with not being with your person physically. So my advice, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Me and my girlfriend first met, we said something about long distance. We weren't long distance. The conversation got brought up for some reason that something about long distance, right? I was saying from jump, like, no, mm -mm, can't do it. I don't trust it, yeah, I'm cool. Like, I was not for it at all, 0%. So I got put in a, a very uh, <laughs> sad situation and I ended up wanting to move back home to be around my family. I told myself for years, ever since I moved to Arizona, I told everybody, I told myself, like I'm never coming back to my hometown, not doing it, can't nobody pay me. I literally was like, so not for it. 
but I was in such a bad state and I only knew like two people in Arizona and I didn't really like hang around them much or talk to them much so like I basically had nobody besides my girlfriend's family which is cool but you need your own people around you uh, uh, sometimes I wouldn't say a lot of times but sometimes so I kind of had to sit back and think can I deal with long distance can I actually do it do I love this relationship and value this relationship so much that I can take the risk of being long distance and it ended up being a yes clearly because I have been in my hometown for over a year and I've I'm just I'm just throwing it out there we don't argue as much and everybody's different so I'm not gonna say like you're not gonna argue that much but like we stopped arguing 75% period <laughs> like we stopped arguing damn near completely we don't argue like that and if it is it's like something stupid like why didn't you talk to me all day like just like stupid little stuff it gives us a chance to miss each other we see each other every month not everybody is able to do that but we do see each other every month i think personally it's worth it if you're in a situation that you need to be long distance um if you'd rather be long distance than be around them i don't know about that specifically i've never been in that situation i don't think i would ever choose to be long distance you kind of just like try to deal with it you adjust to the new lifestyle honestly and that's my advice on long distance I feel like a lot of people always ask me like how long distance is going with me and my girlfriend and basically I just told you <laughs> next person we have is Ivy they said they're, they have a question and a story so their question is so Chrissy would you wish to develop a business in one area and stick to it for example would you wish to have a beauty business a hair salon beauty products makeup nail salon so I don't want to stick to one business no I have the mindset of an entrepreneur okay an entrepreneur I just invested a lot of stuff into doing nails. I actually have a nail class at the end of the month. I invested in painting. I'm not really trying to sell my paintings right now, but I definitely want to like just paint little stuff that I could sell. I have a beauty business as well. I do YouTube and I also have OnlyFans. That is five things right there that I'm making money. Well, four. Well, technically three. Technically three. But no, I definitely would not stick to one thing. I don't know a time in my life when I would stick to one thing because I want to be able to say when I'm older that I tried out everything I've ever wanted to do. And I feel like a lot of people should do that. A lot of people don't. They kind of like get comfortable with where they're at and don't try to explore their options or expand their mind and just see where they can take it so i personally just don't have that mindset to do that so probably not their story is i'm 21 and almost done with school and feel hella pressure to have my shit in order i know y'all just see my face like what you're 21 and you feel pressure to have your shit in order boo no i wish i'd be able to calm myself and wait for things to happen but i can't it's a good thing sometimes because i'm hard on myself and get things done but i hope i could be able to calm down i have my ideas in order and use my energy and panic constructively and make something good out of it i think you felt the same and i just need the reassurance that everything will be fine regardless now y'all gonna make me cry because like y'all actually value my opinion like i know that sounds stupid but just hear me out okay i have a little story for you i like this <laughs> i like being able to just like talk to you guys about shit so when i was i think i just turned 24 or like somewhere in the beginning of me being 24 years old i'm 25 now by the way i was talking to one of my friend's husbands and he's always like getting into deep conversations and just always wants to talk about some deep shit he asked me something along the lines of like what are my plans in life what do i ex like what what do i expect to happen in the next year or something like that and i started piling all this shit i want to own a house by the time i'm 25 i still don't own a house i want to be making 10 10 times more on YouTube because I didn't have an OnlyFans at the time but now like it's switched to OnlyFans but still like I just said all this stuff that I wanted to do before I was 25 not just in life before I was 25 like and I was pressuring myself like I was stressed the fuck out because I wanted to get all this stuff done so bad before I was 25 and this person actually gave me so much reassurance to everybody's pace is different and I know that that's like just something that people throw out there all the time but I realized that the more that I calm down and just take my time with things one the less stressed out I am and I'm a type of person that works really good under stress but if I could choose not to be stressed it'd probably be better Two, everything that I want to do will be done when it's supposed to be done the universe is literally set already like everything's already set you just have to take your time doing it you being 21 and being almost done with school and like feel so pressured oh my gosh like uh, when I was 21 though like I was I was making a lot of money like I had a super big advantage when I was 21 so like I didn't really have to worry about what was next but at the same time when I was 21 like I was really just trying to live my best life at 21 I wasn't even thinking of half the stuff that I think of to this day I think that you should definitely 
figure out what you want to do write down a plan or think of a plan sometimes people don't do good with like writing stuff down but i personally think you should write down a plan and just say hey this is what i plan on doing in the next week so i want to go make a eye appointment i have an eye appointment soon that's why i said that but i want to make an eye appointment and then the next one is okay in the next month i want to make five youtube videos in the next three months i want to make this much money on OnlyFans, and this is just me talking but like little stuff like that can really help you and if you just keep seeing it every day and you keep seeing like and just one goal per whatever the fuck so if you want to do a week two weeks three weeks four weeks six weeks like it doesn't matter how you want to do it whatever you're comfortable with write down just like tiny little things that you want to work on so then you're not like sitting here stressing yourself out over something that does not need to be stressed out over i'm 25 and i've just realized now i'm very young i'm very successful i'm i'm more successful than the average 25 year old i feel like a lot of people assume when you're on the internet you're supposed to really have all your shit together and you don't i don't have all my shit together and i love to be super honest with everybody and let them know not too in my business but like i've been through some shit i've been through rough times i've had times where i was broke as fuck for a month because one i either spent my money or two i didn't work hard enough like they paint this light especially when you're seeing these instagram baddies or these instagram models and they're like younger than me they're like in their like 20 they're like 19 to like 23 and they're making like millions of dollars and then these people on the outside look at them and like set that standard for everybody which i don't think is right because it pressures a lot of people like this like i'm not saying this is a situation that you're going through but it pressures it pressures a lot of people to like really try to get where they want to be too early these are your years to like live your life and i'm not saying like lollygag and not do anything do whatever the fuck you want to do that's why i'm painting that's why i'm doing this I did my makeup today. You can't even fucking tell. Like, <laughs> try new things. Try new foods. I have a HelloFresh in my fucking fridge right now because I wanted to try to do something new. Started an OnlyFans in January and I love it. I've been doing it consistently every single month for the past however many months. Eight months. Go at your own pace. Do what you want to do at the end of the day. Don't look at anybody else. And I'm not pertaining this to you. Never said this. But just if it ever comes to mind, don't look at somebody else and think I need to be like them. Everybody's different. A lot of these billionaires that are like 50 60s now did not get rich until they were like late 30. don't set such a high standard for yourself at your age now because you're 21 if i go back 21 yeah i think that's all i have to say i really hope that helped you and gave you some some decent advice so this person is anonymous and this is a good question i definitely want to read this one so it says i've been with my partner for five years male and i honestly think i'm a lesbian like of course i've grown to love him over the years i just don't think that i'm in love with him what do i do not too much context here because i want to know if you have if you do like girls like is it just the man that you're with or is it men and period because i was in high school all these are i'm just gonna like all these are gonna have so many fucking stories to them it's not even gonna make sense when i was in high school i knew that i like girls from very very young i remember like and you know it's really hard to remember stuff i remember specific moments in my years of being like seven like first to fourth grade and me looking at other girls and liking them like liking them more than i would like a boy throughout all those years up until what, high school it was either eighth grade or high school i told myself and i remember this literally there was this one this one boy and i said i'm gonna try again try one more time because i had probably like two boyfriends before that i was like i'm gonna try one more time see how it goes and then if not i'm going to girls literally that's i was like like no i just i can't got with him we broke up a week later and i ended up just like being the whole school of females okay it's different being like a hoe with men and a hoe with women i was a hoe with women in school but still the question that i'm not sure about is if you actually like girls because you could be bisexual so you could be whatever you want so it might not be that you're actually a lesbian it might just be him honestly i would say um if you just don't think that you're in love with him don't waste your time any longer i know that you said you've been together for five years and that is a long time but no time is ever wasted i feel like a lot of people like to say that i don't want to waste all this time like i wasted so much time with this person and like no there's so much like you're gonna be like 50 talking about oh i was with this man 30 years ago for five years like it's not gonna matter you know like it's not too it's not a waste i would say just um figure out what you want to do and if it comes to a conclusion that you do not want to be with him anymore don't be with him it's 10 times worse when you're sitting there hurting every day like i don't want to be with this person they have no idea or you just stay with them anyways i would say figure out what you want to do if you want to break up with him then go ahead realize that like you might not really it might just be like a phase because i feel like some i feel like most people go through phases where they're like do i really want to be with this person 
I don't know. That's my advice to you, honey. This next person, their name is Holly. He said, I need advice with this situation. So I've been talking to this guy online for almost a year and we vibe really well. We always send long ass paragraphs back and forth and we have a lot in common. We really just clicked instantly. We met once about a month ago while partying at the bar. He tried to teach me pool and it was a really good time. He hugged me goodbye that night and that was pretty much it. The thing is, if I don't, if has feelings for me like that, we really talk in depth about life. Okay, I'm skipping that sentence because I don't know what you meant. We talk really in depth about life and everything, but we haven't really flirted with each other. Not super directly anyways. I have big feelings for this guy because he's the only dude who really seems like he has something real to talk about and I just don't know if this is just a friend thing or if they'll ever be more. What should I do? He's been saying he wants to hang out again, but we haven't yet. I'm so stuck and I haven't talked to anyone else lately because I'm pretty stuck on him. I'm telling you this right now and I'm being so honest. Like if you feel like you have feelings for this person and you feel like they don't, set the friendship off because you will get so hurt if they try to go talk to somebody else and you felt like they liked you basically, and they really didn't. Not saying that this person does not like you, but just to be safe, it's either, okay, I'm gonna give you two options because the first one kind of just sounds like, bitch, cut them off, like no. First option, cut them off. Second option, ask, ask. I'm such an honest person, I know a lot of people aren't, and like a lot of people are actually scared to be honest, but listen, it helps. Like, if you're just honest, I'm not saying say, hey, I like you, but say like, I personally would say, like, just to the bottom line, hang out with them as a friend. See how it goes. Um, try to like throw some hints and see if they go. If they go, then boom, you know. Cause ain't nobody, well, I don't know about men, but ain't no female just gonna go just for fun. Like if, if they're going, then they have some type of likeness for you. Like they're not just gonna do it for absolutely no reason. So yeah, hang out with them and see how it goes. Like honestly, sometimes it's really good to like build a friendship before you even get too serious. Like I said, like it's kind of the tricky part is like if you like him and he's just looking at you as a friend and you're like, I just yawned and now I look like I was crying. And you're basically like, oh, I got feelings for you then yeah it's kind of sucky situation that's my advice to you hang out with them for sure and see how it goes see how it goes you know the vibes you like you know your intuition like if we're all being honest you know your intuition if your intuition if your intuition is telling you this person does not like me and you feel like you cannot just solely be friends with this person then just cut them out just slowly stop talking to them i'm not saying hey i have feelings for you and i know you don't so i'm not going to talk to you anymore like no it's not that serious just go with your intuition and what you feel is best for you so this is a really good one i like this one they choose to be anonymous though which is okay so their question is i feel like i don't belong what should i do to shake that so i'm gonna give you like a quick answer fuck them literally i feel like i don't belong in a lot of places but i don't think about it hard and i know that's easier said than done to like not care what people think or feel like you don't belong or feel like you're just not a part of society to shake that is really just be yourself find out what you like to do like me i'm gonna say this confidently one time i got on instagram live and i was listening to alternative music alternative music is what i grew up on i literally grew up on it i am biracial my mother is white and my father is black i was more around my mother's family and a lot of them i think like 99 percent of my family on my white side listens to alternative music i was raised on that music the only music i don't listen to is country literally i listen to everything else um or like jazz or something like that just like little stuff but like the big picture alternatives like up there and i was on live one day and i was listening to this music and everybody was talking about me and I was just like so now we're judging people by their music choice and I took that situation and I was like you know what I'm gonna fucking glorify off this shit so now I always post me listening to alternative music I don't listen to a lot of new music actually like new alternative music I listen to a lot of old music well not old but like 2008 to like 12 or 14 like it's it's older that was definitely a situation where I it's not that I felt that I didn't belong but it was like I chose to not care and I chose to not hide behind it and embrace it and be like yeah I listen to this type of music so what whatever situation you're going through and you feel like you don't belong I think you should definitely work on bringing it out more say you're like a alt what i don't know what it's called and i don't want to be disrespectful but like they call them like alts hold on i don't want to say it wrong and be rude oh so like alt is i did not know that all is like alternative clothing so like say you like alternative clothing or say you like to do your makeup like an e-girl i don't like whatever you like to do embrace it honestly if people judge you fuck them and tell them fuck you like i'm i'm telling you i've had a couple family members judge me for what i post on social media and i would be like oh well i'm getting paid for it so i don't really care or oh well i'm living my best life and this is me so, so i don't really care so 
that's my advice on that. So, and this is the same person. So I'm a girl, I'm 17, and I just wanna continue on the straight and narrow right now to become successful. Well, a somewhat successful businesswoman. And to do what my therapist said, to cut off distractions. And I think I cut off more of a support system thinking they were distracting me. And since I've been doing better, but when I try to reconnect, they look at me like, um, keep not talking to us. And I'm like, I had to get my right mind. I am like dyslexic at this point. Oh my God. I had to get my mind right. And they're just acting like I don't exist anymore. And I'm gonna just keep the same energy. Maybe my therapist was right. They are distracting me from my success. Your therapist is right. Can um you send me their information? Because what the fuck? That is so true. So I have told people that I care about dearly in my life these things to cut off people and if it was the people that are closest to you then that is okay it happens and if you feel like that is what you need to do to get your your mind right and to get your finances right or your life right then that's what you should do and if they feel some type of way about that then they just don't need to be in your life at all I have had my dog passed away um May 29th <laughs> I'm telling you that day is gonna be stuck in my head but she passed away May 29th and I literally shut down and just didn't want to be around nobody didn't want to talk to anybody and people knew that she passed away but they would still feel some type of way that I was not talking to them those are the type of situations I just yawned but um those are the type of situations where you just have to put yourself before others and I'm not saying be inconsiderate or be selfish but at the same time if you feel like you have to go on this specific path and you feel like all these people that are closest to you are just standing right in front of you push them out the way and that's it and if they feel some type of way they are distracting you and they don't care about your well-being and what you want to do for the rest of your life they were right yes a hundred percent they were distracting you and they will continue as long as you stay in their life and i'm not saying cut off whoever you're talking about but distance yourself it's the best thing to do which is always a good thing it could it, it's not always a bad thing to distance yourself from people i distance myself from certain people all the time just because i feel like i need space it is what it is it's your life not theirs and you can be considerate of yourself before anybody else and it's that so this last person's name is blue if that's your real name that is a cute ass fucking name just want to throw that out there so the question is what should i do if i want someone and they were giving that energy at first but now it's just getting sometimes if you want someone and they weren't giving and if they're not giving that energy anymore it's either I'm just gonna give it short and simple. It's either one, address it, or two, just don't fuck with them anymore. There's no point of like giving full energy to somebody and they're just like half assing it. It's dumb. But their story is I was dating this girl and she and I were okay at first. I cheated on her in the beginning of our relationship because I thought I wouldn't ever see her because we were long distance. That's sad. Don't don't cheat on somebody because y'all long distance. Just don't be with them. I gotta say that right then and there. Anyways, my ex chimed in and made a mess of shit. So we weren't on good terms for a while, but we were still together. The new girl that is not my ex. The ex chimed in and made the new girl and them have problems, not the ex. So then I had a lot of personal things happening and so did she, but I left her because I thought she was ghosting me at her worst time of need. And plus with my shit going on, I was stressed and made a huge mistake. I want her back and she told me to prove it, but I'm not feeling that she is willing to allow me to prove it. I'm not that type of person that would just cheat just because or to hurt anyone. I didn't think I'd see her. Plus, I didn't know how to leave my ex at the time. So I was flustered, but then I did. And now that I'm in this place of proving it, I'm like, I don't know. I'm having mixed emotions bad as fuck. So if you are trying to prove that you want to fix things with the new girl, my advice to you is to... I'm going to say this first because I know a lot of people that say this. They'll say, prove that you want to be with me or prove that you're not going to do this anymore or prove that but then they don't allow you so like you just said like if they if she's not allowing you to prove it then do not waste your time just saying that right now because one if you do try to prove it and then she lets you back in her life and you guys are back together again or something and she's not really letting you prove it to her like she's kind of like still having those thoughts and stuff in the back of her head it's just gonna be a constant argument and a constant bicker back and forth and a constant disagreements and insecurity and it's really just not worth it at the end of the day like if someone were to cheat on me and they told me that they were gonna prove it and like i wasn't willing to let them prove it then that's just a waste of time for both of us honestly you might as well just cut it off right there if they're not willing to let you prove it then just cut it off right then and there if she eventually lets you prove it just do the best you can as in making sure that she's comfortable with who you're friends with or if you and your ex happen to have a conversation let her know or if you go out with a friend and she and you don't hit her up for a long time reassure her it's okay we're just chilling little things like that will definitely help but it, like i said if she's not willing to let you prove it then it's really no point that's 
all that I have to say for this video. I really like this. I didn't even do that many, which is crazy because I was thinking like I was gonna do all these like at least like 50. I don't know why I thought I was gonna do 50, but I did a couple good ones. I really liked it, honestly. Let me know if you guys liked it though. And if you did, share this video because I want to see if people would actually like to hear my opinion on things because I, I'm giving like a very raw opinion, not too much of a therapist or counselor vibe. Like you're just telling me something and I'm just giving you advice. I really liked it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you follow all my social media. It's always on the screen. My Instagram, Snap, TikTok, Twitter, OnlyFans, YouTube, everything on the screen. My business, my beauty business. That is always down below as well as my OnlyFans. And if you do want to put entries, I will put the form down below as well so you can put in entries and we'll just keep this going if everybody's fucking with it. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the video. Oh, 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 oh,